All right, guys. I just played through Brother Pero, and it's like a Steam free-to-play visual novel. And I played through the whole thing like twice. It does not record well because it will not let you game capture it. It will not let you window capture it. I display captured it, and it only like stutter frame captured things. So like my voice was going perfectly, but then the video wasn't keeping up with the actual game. So first I'm gonna tell you how to fix the game if you want to play it. And then I'm gonna give you a spoiler warning. And now I'm going to tell you how to actually, what happens in the game, pretty much. Because I play through it, so I'm going to at least tell you what happened through the playthrough. First, to fix the game. I'll cl include a link down below, and I'll tell you where you need to put it. But it has to go into your Steam apps, your common folder, and then it has to go into your Brother Para folder. And then you have to load it. It's a save file for... And then you can get past the rain scene. The rain scene is glitched. You have to have the save file to get past it. If you don't have the save file, you cannot get past the rain scene. You will be sitting there forever. And that and the game's been out for a while, so I don't think they're ever going to fix it, which is really annoying. The story's... Okay, spoilers. This is what happened in the game. If you don't want to, like, spoil yourself and you want to play through it, stop the video here. You are looped in a time, you are in a time loop, and your mother keeps calling you to wake up because you're about to miss school, but it's 3 in the morning. You go down to get some chicken pie, the chicken pie is there, the dog howls, and you're like, Toronto, what's happening? Toronto is your dog. And then you figure out that Toronto's not going to answer you. It's a time loop. Basically, the character's too stupid to figure out it's a time loop until like 15 minutes into the game. He finally realizes that you're in a time loop. Why are you in the time loop? At first you think it's because you got somebody killed. That's what I would assume. You did something bad, that's why you're in the time loop. Groundhog's Day. Okay, so basically what happened is you went to a party, you dropped your brother off at school. You dropped your brother off at a birthday party and then you went to like an older person party, like a college party and you drank alcohol and you met this girl that you've always had a crush on and you guys are like hitting it off and whatnot and you're drunk and you go to pick up your brother because he calls you and he's like oh why haven't you picked me up blah 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 you're drunk you pick him up you get in a car crash and then your alter, alter ego which is drunk you which puts you in the time loop basically makes you bury your brother somehow because obviously drunk and you, alter ego you can like come up with his own can basically influence your actions that directly so you bury your brother and then you wake up in the hospital you have a coma nobody can save your brother you find out but you're visit somebody's visiting grave at the end i don't know how this actually ends because i think it could be that there's two ways that this could have gone and i'm not sure which one it ends because your brother learned that Pero was the word for dog, and he calls you Pero, like as a joke, because your name is Pedro. And at the end, some guy with brown hair that doesn't look like your character, and it doesn't look like your younger brother Alan's character, is at your grave, is like, well, I did all these things that you wanted to do, like go to this, I went to this college, and I married this woman that I love, and... She's honking for me, but I have to go. I'll visit you next year. I'll always remember your brother, Pedro. I don't know if that's Alan talking or if it's Pedro talking. Because it could be Pedro talking because he's just like, oh, that's the last thing Alan was calling me. Or it could be Alan talking because that's what he was calling Pedro. And Pedro is stuck in this time loop. I think it was actually Alan at the end, which is a little bit better because Pedro is the one that committed the sin of getting drunk driving and getting his younger brother killed but i could not get the i could not get the game to record correctly so i'm just letting you know what happened <laughs> it's really frustrating because i played it was like an hour long game and the it doesn't translate correctly because i think it was originally in portuguese and they tried to translate it to english it's not awful it's not that bad it's not like robo thorium bad like dialogue but it could have been a lot better and the story is a little bit redundant in a lot of ways like i got the point that we were in a time loop 
and I got the point that the main character's freaking dumb. I don't need it repeated like 10 times. And the main character's a dick to the dog. Toronto did nothing wrong. You did stuff wrong. Stop being mean to Toronto. My goodness. What did Toronto do to you? God, that made me mad. But, I mean, the story was pretty good. It was kind of original-ish. And it has a good message. It has a good message that you shouldn't drink and drive. I've drank and drive, but I'm older, and I know my limitations, and at the same time, you shouldn't drink and drive. Nobody should drink and drive. I shouldn't drink and drive. That kind of... Uh, was a message to me. I kind of took it to heart a little bit, but I would be a liar if I said I've never drank and drive before. So, do not drink and drive because the consequences will stick for you to you for life. That's one thing I didn't like about the ending because I thought Pedro was the one that survived. Because I was like, why does Pedro get to live, and why is Pedro acting like this is just fine after everything that happened? And I'm pretty sure it's Alan after like like retrospect looking at it like multiple times I'm pretty sure Alan is the one that survived thanks for watching as always usually I would like to include the game video to this but it just would not record correctly and I played through it like one and a half times pretty much and it was a long visual novel so if it couldn't record correctly I'm not gonna play through the whole thing again just for not to record correctly again because you couldn't game capture i couldn't game capture it i couldn't window capture it i could not i could display capture it but it wouldn't capture correctly but if you could please like and subscribe i love doing these videos and i'll probably still do them for as long as people have an interest in them but thanks as always